Hey everyone, so as you might have known, I've been working on quite a big client project for the last few months and I actually have finished all of the art for it and if you don't know what it is, it is a card game called Varmints. So back in the summer, I was approached by David Rose, he's a creator of Varmints and he was looking for an artist to draw a bunch of critters and some of the critters would be wearing like little human clothes, doing human things, running around outside. And basically any kind of critter or varmint that goes through trash. I've actually played a demo version of the game, meaning there was about like half of the cards that there are going to be, but it was a playable version of the game and it was a lot of fun. Um, I look forward to seeing the full game and all the cards printed because when I received the cards in the mail, I was so excited because they just looked so good. The colors looked perfect. It was a really fun and cute game. Um, I played it with some family members and we really enjoyed ourselves. I think one of the best parts are the names of the varmints and calling them out as you play them. It's just very, it's very cute and engaging. All of the artwork is by me, but I didn't place text on the cards. I didn't put the cards together themselves. I just provided the visual assets for the cards. The actual game is live on GameFound and it has already been funded and it's almost surpassed the funding goal by 200%, which is great. And every stretch goal we reach, another $100 gets donated to wildlife rehabilitation. So it's just a really cute project. It was really fun. I'm so proud of all the art I did for it. And I feel like this type of project was like made for me and for my art because it's a bunch of like cute little animals. And that's like my favorite thing to draw. And they're also like wearing like little human clothes. So this video, I wanted to break down each little character I drew for this game and how I approached each one. And I'm gonna be showing you the whole process for each one. So there's gonna be quite a bit in this video. If you want to support this project, I will have it in the description, of course. You can also get buttons and stickers and prints and even a tote bag. There's lots of things you can add to your pledge. We're both really excited about this project and I'm really grateful I got the opportunity to work on it. I think it was a great experience and I feel like I learned a lot of stuff about making art more quickly, but I'll probably talk about that more later in the video. So now on to each little varmint. So the very first two varmints that I illustrated were sort of a trial run just to get a general sense of the style that we wanted to go with and to just see how this whole process was going to work because I think there are 30 varmints. So this one here is a little raccoon called Princess and they're eating a little sandwich and a cookie and a tutu that's a little too small for them. Um, it's just a sweet little illustration. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. The colors were a lot of fun to work with. And I just think the cards look so cute. They just look so good um, when you put everything like together on the card. Um, the next one is an opossum and it used to be called Disagreeable Pink Fingers, but now it is called None Shall Poss. I really like this one. This was like probably still one of my favorite ones that I've done. By the way, all the descriptions in all the art direction and like the concepts came from David and then it was my job to kind of realize them visually and the process kind of worked um, where we would start with an animal group so we'd go and do all the rats and then I would do sketches for the rats send them over and then I would do the finals and send them over and it kind of went like that like sketches and finals and if I needed any revisions I would do them there wasn't a lot of revisions though which I'm very like grateful for because I've heard of some people doing client work where there's just like endless revisions but I feel like this whole process was very smooth and just very very easy to work with. The next one as you see is called a roaming rascal. It's just a cute little mouse in some overalls walking through a field with a little lollipop cane. There weren't too many struggles with this one because it's just a grassy field. I think the only thing that was difficult was making the overlapping blades of grass because I kind of struggle with drawing like overlapping foliage. I think it's a little more tricky than it looks and it's easy to overcomplicate it, but I think it turned out well in the end. The next one was Chubby Renegade. He's a little rat, um, a little like cowboy bandit type of rat. And the struggle for this one was the trees in the back. We tried to do a version where they looked like trash cans, but instead they're just trees. And then at this point, we realized like, oh, most of the varmints kind of have like a lot of nature-y backgrounds and not a lot of that like urban sort of city type of theme to them. So I tried to take that into account for a lot of the next ones. Well, maybe not nefarious scamps, but I think nefarious scamps 
might be my favorite drawing just because it was very smooth for me. It was very like, it was a very enjoyable process painting these guys. And I loved looking at all the different reference photos of rats running and trying to pick the two that looked good to have like them overlapping. And I just love the colors I chose and I just think they look really good. So I really like Nefarious Scamps. Captain Handsome, I think turned out really well. Um, but I did struggle with his sketch a lot, as you can kind of see. I did a lot of different sketches for him. You can tell how easy it was for me to do each environment based on how long the sketching process took, because some of them it was like, oh, I got this. I got this right away. But Captain Handsome, I did a lot of different iterations, and I ended up going with the last one, and I think it turned out it's definitely the best sketch out of all of them. And I really like the colors. It's just a nice, clear like beachy day and I also really like drawing all the grass in these. I had a very like set process for how I colored by the end and basically I would just do all the lines in a kind of dense textured brush, do the base colors, go in with like a gouache to like kind of define the base colors and add shading and I'll color the line art to kind of fit whatever the color of the object was and I think that really gave it a nice cartoony look. The collector this little red squirrel is another one of my favorite ones because his little pile of trash took a really long time to draw, but I like the way it turned out. This one definitely took a lot more time than some of the others. So it's just so detailed, but it kind of balances out because some of them weren't that detailed, but some of them were quite detailed. So it kind of like evens out in the end, I think. Madam Milkshakes. Um, this one was a little bit tricky because of all the ellipses or ellipses, um, they're one of the hardest shapes to draw. Luckily, Procreate has an like a like auto circle feature, but it's still hard to get it in the right perspective. Um, and I kind of struggled with the cup and a couple things about this one, but I think overall it turned out good in the end. And I really like the way it looks on the card too. I just think all of them look so good on the card. I, it's really cool to see them like that. I also really like this guy, Sheriff of the Stuff. He's a little like sheriff squirrel looking down at the varmints and like the, the city and alleyways. And I just kind of imagine him like observing what's going on and making sure everyone is like behaving themselves and there aren't too many fights of like little critters competing for their trash. Um, and drawing him was really fun and satisfying. And I just really like all the wires. That was like a really fun thing that I never really usually draw, but I was able to draw it because of this project. Now this one is really cute. I think they're called the Acorn Brothers. They're just like two little squirrels. One is right side up, one's upside down. Um, alternating clothing colors. It's just a cute little illustration. It was pretty fun drawing them. A lot of them I had to extend a little bit more so that there was more like wiggle room for cropping it on the card, which I found to be very helpful because that way it's just easier to have everything fit onto the card in the end if you have extra wiggle room, but I wasn't the one doing that. So I wanted to make sure that there's enough space. Ripley is another one of my favorite ones. I kind of struggled with him a lot. Like the sketch actually took quite a long time. It just seemed quite detailed. I couldn't really get the posture right at first. And the bag ripping was really difficult to capture. I find drawing like crinkly objects kind of difficult, but I feel like I really learned how to draw trash bags through this project. Like I definitely um, if there's anything I can draw now, it, it's definitely garbage and trash and like little food scraps. So I definitely learned a lot about that through this. The next one, little cheeps. They're a bunch of little birds. And when I drew them, I was like, I feel like all these birds need a hat. So I did one sketch version with the hat and we were immediately like, okay, yeah, let's go with the hat version because these little birds need to wear hats. And it's just like a bunch of birds eating their little breadcrumbs and playing together. I think it's just a cute little piece. I remember it kind of taking me a while to decide on how many birds I wanted to do and if I wanted to do flying birds and what the foreground and background should look like. But for a lot of these, when in doubt, I just kind of added some bushes and some grass and maybe like some like telephone wires or like houses or trash cans and it kind of helped fill out the scene. So the next varmint is a crow and his name is the good Saint Ricardo and he has a little candy in his beak which is really cute and I really like drawing birds so of course this one was fun to draw. The pose came to me very easily. Um, he's just sitting on a fence post and I always like to draw little like strands of wheat or 
like grass seeds in the field. I think this time it was wheat, but um, it's really fun to draw like little simple backgrounds like this with clouds and grass. And yeah, that's uh, Ricardo. Now we have Cornelius Puff the Third, and he's a pigeon. And I feel like with pigeons, when you're drawing them, you really have to nail down their color scheme for it to actually be like recognizable as a pigeon, especially those like blue ones. They're like gray and blue. Um, and then it kind of has that like iconic pigeon look. But this guy has a little top hat and a monocle and he is very distinguished perched on a roof. And he was a lot of fun to draw. I really like pigeons. I, I just find pigeons so cute. And drawing all his little bird feather textures was a lot of fun too. I really enjoyed it. So there is Cornelius. Now we're on to the raccoons. I know I already did one in the beginning, but this is another raccoon called Washing Machine. And basically she's like a little raccoon with a little maid hat on. And she's washing a piece of pizza on a washboard in a little bucket of water because raccoons wash their food before they eat it. And I thought this was such a cute idea that David came up with. And I think we both really liked the way this one turned out. It was a lot of fun to draw. And um, I've been trying to make sure that I like include sidewalks and streets and like urban elements to the scenes and not just nature so that you know it's like a game about animals in the city, but also with some nature elements because I think that just really adds to the atmosphere and they're fun to draw and they look pretty. Then we have Boots Bandito himself. He was fun to draw, but at first I had a pose for him that was a little more static than what we wanted to go for so I redrew him actually riding a rocking horse instead of just standing beside it and I think it turned out really well a lot more dynamic a lot more of a fun car just like a cowboy raccoon on a little rocking horse I just feel like that's so cute and I like doing his little sunset sky I think he really stands out from the rest of them because of how how different it is and he has a little like crumpled up newspaper as a tumbleweed which was a great idea by David and I think we might have added one to another drawing but we ended up foregoing that but yeah there's Boots Bandito and the last raccoon is Giuseppe and he's a little friendly raccoon that wants to welcome all the varmints to his dumpster and you can see other tails and other varmints in the dumpster with him and I just think he's really friendly looking it was a lot of fun drawing this guy and like, I never really draw dumpsters. So this project like kind of forced me to draw things that I don't normally draw. And I ended up learning how to draw a dumpster and how to like make it in my like cute style, which I didn't think would be possible to make trash look cute, but I think it does. Now we'll be drawing all of the skunk varmints. And I was so excited to draw skunks. I think skunks are really cute. They're like one of the cutest little animals, but it's kind of like a curse because of how stinky they are. You can't really bother them. You can't really get too close to them, but they are really cute and I really like skunks. So Tony Tomatoes is like a mobster skunk and he has a little, a little can of tomatoes and he's in a little back alley doing some sketchy things. Maybe he's going to like make a, make a deal or selling some things. I don't know exactly. But the tomato juice is like a nod to trying to get rid of like a skunk smell. All these like clever little things like weren't my idea. They're like from David's art direction and then I just kind of illustrated them. So I thought that was that was pretty clever. Then we have Stinky Monahan, which is a cute little skunk. She's sitting in a field eating her her juicy strawberry, but you can see other varmints running away from her because she doesn't know how stinky she is. So maybe it's easy for her to get the trash because the other varmints don't don't want to be too close to her but I really liked the colors in this one and I liked the way I drew her little stink cloud because I think it like kind of looks pretty which is interesting because like it's a stink cloud but I was determined to make it look like cute and nice so yeah once I made the outline like a white or a lighter color um I think it really came together then we have cousin scuzz he is another skunk and he is inside of a knocked over trash can and he's got a little dead fish, um, some like fish bones in his mouth. And I actually really like the like aesthetic of fish bones. I think it's like, I think it just looks cool. So I was excited to draw that and little banana peel on his back and apple core. Um, and I also really liked the way that the wall turned out in this one. I added a little bit more detail to it than I thought I would, but I think it turned out well. And I actually really like the way this one looks. I think the colors look really nice. I struggled with the color of the trash can for a while, but once I made it really bright, it ended up working. Now for more opossums, we got Gramps. It's just a simple little, little old opossum with a fishing hat and he's walking in a field with his cane. 
And I thought it would be cute to put rose bushes around him. Just, just like, I don't know. I thought it would just be like an interesting element to add. So it's a little different from the other cards. But I wasn't really getting his posture right at first. I think this one took a lot of tries because he just didn't really look old. But once I made him have that like hunched posture, I was like, yeah, this is the sketch we got to go with. And coloring him was a lot of fun. I really, I also really loved like doing the line work for the really furry critters because it's just like, it's just a lot of fun to do all those like brush strokes for the, for the fur. Then we have Janine, which was one of my favorite ones to draw. It's just an opossum on a little branch and I think she's really cute. She was a lot of fun to draw. I really liked doing all of her fur textures and her pink tail and her little pink nose and her pink fingers. I think opossums are really, really cute and I was so glad that I got to draw four of them. And um, I just like the way their faces are. They kind of look like like skeletons or like uh, like skulls when they're running around at night. Um, they're very like creepy cute, which I like a lot. And the foliage was a lot of fun. And I just feel like this one went by really smoothly. So I'm a big fan. So another opossum we have is Bristly Bunch. I know it says Stubborn She, but that was her old name. Now the card is called Bristly Bunch. And it's basically just a mom opossum with a bunch of little babies because I feel like this is like a classic opossum picture with like all the little babies attached to the mother as they like walk around or like hang on a branch. So this one was a lot of fun drawing all, all the little guys. Next we have maybe my favorite varmint um, called Snack Attack, which is a little dog running with a bag of food in her mouth and the food is spilling out and she's just in a nice little field with flowers. And I actually based this dog off of my dog, Olive, and it really looks like her. She's a very chaotic dog. She gets to zoomies really easily. So I thought this like sprinting posture would fit her really well. And I just think it's cool. I got to like insert my dog into the game. And I just really liked the way it turned out. It was a lot of fun painting her little spots. She's like a black and white dog, but she also has some like brown brindle mixed into her fur. She's kind of a mutt. So she's, her dad was a blue healer and her mom was a Boston Terrier Jack Russell and she was just a farm dog and she was the only one in the litter so I really enjoyed drawing this one and it's definitely one of my favorites. Then we have Snarls Barkley which is a tiny little little fluffy white dog you know those like little little fluffy white dogs and he has cleared out an entire alleyway because he's the most frightening varmint of them all of course because he's so he's so scary and so mighty. Um, this one was a bit challenging for me because of the muted colors. I wanted his shadow to be big and because it's an alleyway, there's not a lot of room to do like greenery anywhere. So I kind of struggled with that a bit. And the little like paper tumble we do see at the end ended up being removed from the final card because I did a version without it and then we added it, but it, we kind of decided not to put it there. So this one was, was definitely a little bit of a challenge for me, but I liked the way it turned out. Another dog we have is Frightening Fellow, which is a really big, I think a Rottweiler, and he's by two little um, trash cans. And he's supposed to look a little bit threatening because he's so big, but he's actually just like a little lazy, goofy dog. And I really like drawing his coloring. Um, I kind of struggled with the wall because I kind of struggle with like, there's like organic shapes in drawing, which are like leaves and plants and like foliage, but then there's like inorganic things, which is like sidewalks and like trash cans and stuff like that. And I'm definitely better at the organic stuff than the like urban things, but um, I like the way he turned out. I think he's pretty cute. Then we have Enrique and he's a little Frenchie on a skateboard. I was so excited to draw this one and I love the way he turned out. I, I think it just looks really good. And the pink skateboard contrasts with the green grass really nicely because they're kind of complementary colors. And I really like the way I drew the grass behind him. It kind of looks windblown. And I'm pretty proud of the way it turned out because it didn't take me too long. And it, it felt like it went by really smoothly. Like as I got further along in this project, the varmints definitely started to take, well, maybe not less time, but they started to feel more like streamlined because I had a process nailed down on how I would make each illustration. And I think I got more efficient and I, I really liked the way this one turned out. I think it's really fun and all the textures and like I, when I paint flat surfaces, I try to like vary the hue with each brush stroke to make sure it doesn't look too stale. There's a lot of little things I picked up along the way that is gonna help my art going forward. Now we're on to the foxes. There are three foxes and I was so excited to draw these guys. The first one is General Rubbish and he's just a fox in a dumpster and he's saluting. It's kind of based off of the Lion King hyena salute. 
probably, uh, if you've seen the movie, you probably know what I'm talking about. And there's a bunch of trash cans or trash bags around him. And I, I just think the colors turned out really nice in this one. I don't know what it is about this one, but I just, I just really like the way the colors look. And I, I really like the way I drew his fur. I think it's shaded really nicely. And it just, it was just a nice process drawing this one. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Then we have Wiley O'Reilly, which is a little fox sleeping near a tire, pretending to be asleep, but actually has one eye open, keeping a lookout. I used um, a photo from Google Images to help me with the car perspective because I just wanted it to be accurate. And I found a picture of a dog lying underneath a car, which seems like dangerous, but it was a good reference for this. And I just like added things and I like the colors on this one, but it was a little challenging because again, it's like not an organic shape. The last varmint I did was Johnny Jump Up, I think, or was this the second last? I'm not sure. I really enjoy drawing the anatomy of this fox um, and the little trash bags and the little critters scurrying away. Um, I think this one turned out really fun and really cute. And yeah, I feel like I've gotten better at drawing like four-legged mammals kind of thing and drawing paws, which is pretty exciting. And another thing I did a lot is I would take past cards that I drew and I would bring them into the new canvas and kind of blur the colors and color pick from my old varmints drawings just to make sure all the colors match throughout the series and to kind of speed things along. That's sort of a tip that I picked up because I wanted there to be like consistency between all the cards and it also helps you color it a little bit faster. And I think that's a really good method when you're doing a big series of illustrations to keep things consistent. So that is all the varmints I drew for this game. A lot of illustrations. Um, I'll probably have a lot of prints of these in my shop in the future once the crowdfunding is over, but if you want to grab prints right now and stickers and buttons and all those good things and the game, you can do that on GameFound. I'm really excited to see the final game. I'm really proud of this project. I think it turned into something like really special and I'm really glad I got the chance to work on it. And I hope you enjoyed this video of me breaking down all the varmints and what I was thinking when I drew them. It was a lot of fun and really rewarding. And this will definitely be a project that I'm proud of, like probably forever. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.